In this video, I will show you different ways you can use the Literacy Center of Expertise Phonics Stories 21 through 30. The suggested activities have been adapted from ESL for All. I will show you the activities with an example book, but you can use these ideas with any of the 10 stories. As literacy learners need to interact with books multiple times, this video will show you different foci for each time you interact with a phonics story. I will show you a few examples of how you can use oral language, read the story together, help students understand that long vowel sounds in English can be spelled in a variety of ways, and finally, how to practice recognizing high frequency words to help learners build reading independence. So let's get started. With this book, Frozen Window, the first thing you can do is look at the title page and make predictions about what might happen in the story. This is where you can model with a think aloud. Hmm, I wonder what might happen. What do you think? The title is Frozen Window. Why do you think she looks upset? You can continue to make predictions as you go through the story. Why is it so cold inside? Hmm, why is it cold inside the house? The story is called Frozen Window. Is a window open, I wonder? As you listen and look at the pictures, you can connect to students' personal experiences with this problem. You can ask, have you ever left a window open in the winter? What did you do to close it? to help students connect to the story and allow them to brainstorm possible solutions. She blows on the frozen window. Oh, in this story, she's using a blow dryer. I wonder how that will help close the frozen window. When you're finished listening to each page, you can recap the story by asking something like, so what is a blow dryer? How did she fix the problem in this story? This will allow you to check if your students understand the new vocabulary, what happened in the story, and if they are ready to move on to the text. To recap, here are a few ways you can use the oral language section of the book. You can use the pictures to make predictions and encourage reading for understanding. Connect problems in each story to students' lives, and then extend this to include brainstorming possible solutions. Finally, before moving on to the text, you can check for understanding of vocabulary and ask students questions to confirm overall understanding. Ensuring that students first have success with oral language will help them when they move on to the next section of the resource. Now that you have listened to the book, you can focus on reading the story. To start, you could choral read all together with everyone reading and rereading each sentence together. Depending on the level of your class, you could model thinking aloud to solve unknown words. For example, Rohini has a cold nos. Hmm, no, that isn't right. What can I do? I can look at the picture. I see her holding a coat up to her face, but I still don't know the word nos. So I will look at the letters. N-O-S-E. Oh, there is an E. I think the word is nose, but I will listen and check if I am right. Rohini has a cold nose and toes. Oh, yes. Rohini has a cold nose and toes. That matches the picture. If your class is more independent, students could use each other for help as well. Once students are comfortable with the text and have done a choral reading or shared reading with you, they can try to read and reread on their own to help with their reading speed and accuracy. Students can practice listening to the audio for each sentence on their own digital device, then try to match the intonation. For example, why is it so cold inside? Why is it so cold inside? The question mark means my voice goes up at the end. 
Oh no, the window is open. Oh no. Oh, the exclamation point makes my voice go up as well. Finally, when students have reread the story several times, you can read it to them with errors to check for understanding and encourage active listening skills. For example, It is frozen and will not shut. Is that right? Oh, will not close. How do you know? Oh, the letters are C L O S E. Shut means the same thing, but this word in the book is close. To recap, in this section, the focus is on building reading strategies, reading fluency, and reading comprehension. You can model how to use the audio, pictures, and text to help when you see a new word. You can use language like look at the pictures look at the letters, or ask a friend to help. You can focus on reading fluency, and you can also ensure that students are understanding what they read and also what is being read to them. These stories have been designed with the whole part whole approach in mind. So now that you have listened to the story and read the text, you have some context for practicing long vowel sounds and their common spelling patterns. In this section of the book, students can focus on studying the patterns of each long vowel sound. For example, long O spellings include final silent E, two letter vowel combinations, OA and OE, and OW. When using this section of the resource, you can start by listening to the audio. You can spell the long vowel sound O in different ways. In this book, you can see three ways to spell the sound O. Check how each word sounds by clicking on the word. Then click on each spelling pattern at the top to hear the audio. This will highlight for students that each spelling sounds the same. O O O Practice making the long vowel sound to ensure that students can produce it correctly. Next, you can practice decoding each word list as a class. Model blending sounds with the highlighter tool in the resource. N, O, S, and then click on the words to check. Nose. You can support students by asking, how many sounds do you hear in nose? N, O, S, three. How do you spell the O sound in nose? O with a silent E. Then repeat with a different spelling pattern. For example, how many sounds do you hear in the word snow? Snow. Three, how do you spell the O sound in snow? In this word, you spell it with O-W. After repeating this activity several times, students can go back through the book and look for these words with the context of a story. As a class, you can annotate the book together, either on a smart board or with the accompanying PDF. She blows on the frozen window. How many long O words do you see? Let's count. She blows one on the frozen two window three. Okay, now let's put a yellow triangle on the words with O-W spelling. I see blows and window. And now let's put a red rectangle around a word with silent E. I see the word frozen. 
You can go through every page like this as a class or try a few pages together and then students can finish in pairs. Finally, as students build independence with each story, they can use a PDF version in pairs or on their own to fill in the blanks with words that match each long vowel spelling pattern. To recap, you can help your students further develop both their phonemic awareness and orthographic mapping of long vowel sounds in the following ways. You can focus on the sounds in isolation, both in hearing them and producing them, decoding or reading words that follow the same long vowel spelling patterns in word lists, applying these skills to context by rereading the story with a focus on looking for spelling patterns, and finally, spelling words to reinforce the same skills through a different modality. The last focus of this series is to help students build a bank of words they recognize right away, otherwise known as sight words. After you reread the story a few times, you can practice sight words on their own. The review page at the end of each story has the words with audio so you can read and listen. Why, what, do. After practicing on their own, you could read the story again and circle the sight words you see. I see the word what. W-H-A-T. Finally, you could have students practice spelling sight words as a class or in pairs to help them move these words to long-term memory. The goal is that students will recognize them automatically and don't have to sound out every word they encounter as this will impact fluency and especially comprehension. To recap, you can target sight word recognition by reviewing sight words in isolation, making sure to treat them as a whole unit as opposed to sounding them out, then reviewing them in the context of sentences to add meaning. Through varied exposures and targeted activities, students will move these words into long-term memory, which will help them with rapid recall during reading tasks. In this video, we have seen how phonics stories 21 through 30 are designed in four parts. They can be used to focus on oral language and developing thinking strategies, how to use reading strategies to solve words and focus on reading fluency and reading comprehension, how to recognize long vowel spelling patterns using a whole part whole approach, and how to build a word bank of high frequency words that students will recognize automatically. To end, here are a few ways you could extend the books to focus on sequencing events, oral comprehension, reading comprehension, or reviewing long vowel spelling patterns. Check out all 10 stories on the Literacy Center of Expertise website and stay tuned for accompanying workbooks for all 40 phonics stories coming late 2023.